What's up? This is Bobby Grubb with Grub Mud Concrete. Welcome back to Grub Mud Get It Out the Mud Concrete Show. There's a big crave going around the internet about dry pour concrete. And as a finisher and as a concrete business owner, I have my doubts about it. But 30 days ago, we poured this slab here and this slab here. This is regular concrete. This is dry pour. Notice the color difference. Also, I noticed that the edges chipped off really easily and that the bottom did, when I pulled it off the forms, the bottom didn't set up well enough. I'm not gonna explain how um, how we did all this. I'm sure you clicked on this video that you've seen a dry pour. An inch and a half thick, we wanted to do it just like Cajun Country Living, so we did an inch and a half thick, we put the, the dry pour in, then we screeded it off, misted it, waited a little while, misted it again, then uh, waited a little while and then doused it. And, I probably did a better job than most people as far as dousing it. I think I'm actually pretty optimistic about how strong this is going to be. Today we are testing dry pour mix versus regular concrete. Dad, what do you think? Which one? What do you think is going to happen? Well, they're both bag mixes out of the same materials, same store. Uh, I just don't think the dry pour is going to hold up like the mix out of a, a mixer or will barely the one. I just think that. This is a lazy man's way of doing it. It might be lazy, but you got to look at your pros and cons. A lot of guys don't know how to do regular concrete, and they're scared of it. Um, I think you can control it a lot easier when you're only doing it this small, but when you got a bigger section, I think it'll be harder. I think if you do do it, you should do it an inch and a half thick, though, because that'll get uh, most of it to soak through. But how we're going to test it is we're going to we're going to test it, uh, see which one's stronger. So we're going to take this board, set it here. Uh, first thing is I'm going to step on it and see if it'll hold 170 pounds. Try to be easy. Hey, it helped me just fine. Step on it real easy, Dad. How much do you weigh? 245. 245. Let's see what he's got. Don't knock that camera over. Right in the middle. Well, it held 245. I told you I did a good job on that. I'm going to take this 200 pound tractor weight. Oh my goodness. Ah. Plus my 160. What's that make? My 170. That's, it's like 300 pounds right here. Yep. Damn, son. Hey. Uh, it does it all right. Woo. I don't think you can pick that up here. Let me do something. Ugh. Can't do it that way. It just spreads the weight out too much. I don't spread the weight out too much. Can you step right on the middle of that? Don't go off the edge because it'll break right on them boards. Moment of truth. Wow. Hey. All right, this is about, we'll be about 500 pounds right here, guys. Uh, we're about to see. All right, hold it. You want to try it? Kind of rudimentary way of doing this, but it, we're going to do them both evenly, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah? Wow. All right, hold on. We're going to get some more weight. Damn. Told you that was heavy. Okay, we're going to see if it take an impact of 10 pounds I'm gonna drop it the same height both times I'm gonna drop it right in the middle all right three feet high Ooh, damn it broke all over the place it didn't just break down the middle damn hey look at it though is it cured all the way through it is cured all the way through all right, well, see how it, it, see this crack right here going all the way up it? It, it pretty much disintegrated. It, it held up on the first test, but look at this. You don't see regular concrete breaking up like that, like dust. I don't know. It definitely doesn't break all in four pieces when you drop it right in the middle. Oh, that's so brittle. Look at this. Yeah, that's brittle. Wow. I wouldn't show them the weight thing up from how brittle it is. Yeah, it's brittle. 
So it held up a little bit on the weight test, but uh, all right, let's do the regular one. Watch this one again. Three feet high. Yeah, that back just kind of really brittle. That's what I noticed on the edges were really brittle. Um, ooh, damn. Yeah, it's basically just bag mixed with... It's like a bag that you get in the store that's been sitting outside that uh, gets wet, you know? All right, here. Let's, well, see if the see if this one will take it. <clears throat> it ain't going to break that easy. All right, so now we're going to do the same test. Same test. That 10 pound weight. You think it's going to break it? You going to put the weights on it? No, put that. Uh, we already know it's going to hold the weights. All right, here. I'll just stand in the middle. All right. We know it's going to hold all that. See if it'll hold that, drop that 10 pound weight on it. See if it'll break it. 10 pound weight. Same way. Ooh, it broke just as easy. Damn! But it's not as brittle. That broke just as bad, though. Man, I'll tell you what. I think bag mix is just shit. It is. Uh, period, point blank. That's my uh, observation on this is bag mix is shit it doesn't matter if you dry pour or wet i mean i think it does a little bit um, that's a little lighter that's a little darker but this is the what this is a normal pour all right there you have it folks both of them are shit don't use bag mix if you can help it um but dry pour uh, well, there you have it. Make your own decision. Um, dry pour did a good job on the weight. Um, well, time we go to the store, buy 80 bags, haul them in, or have them delivered with a charge, put it down, strike it off, and, and you've seen videos of people not be able to get it nice and smooth, then they soak it down, they soak it down. Next thing you know, they got a poor finish. You might as well just go ahead and spend the money, maybe another hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars more, and get it off of a ready mixed truck. There you go. Sleep better. You gonna spend money? You might as well spend it right. I figure I'm gonna show you how to pour concrete. If you do it yourself, you can do it for a dollar a square foot. Let me show you how. Now I gotta clean up all this shit. <laughs>